the holder of exit. If you insist on pressing on, seeker, I suggest you carry both the tuning fork and the delete key, for they will make this marginally easier for you. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself into. Ask the receptionist if you can visit with the holder of exit. The worker will tell you to turn around and walk out, perhaps mentioning that there's an exit behind you. If you wish to exit from this quest, this is the last chance you have, for there is no turning back after you follow the next step. You must specify that you wish to see the holder of exit, not the exit itself. If the worker doesn't know what you're talking about, you will start to notice yourself fading away into nothingness. This holder, unfortunately, understands what mercy means. If this happens, before you disappear completely, you must strike the tuning fork to call forth Object 290, the tuning pitch to aid you in vibrating yourself back into existence. Whatever you do, do not match your voice with the pitch, no matter how tempting it seems. This will cause your vocal cords to transform into, well, you'll gradually end up turning into the holder of vibration, if it doesn't cause your throat to explode first. Let the vibration form around you until it dissipates. If you are in the wrong place, the worker will look at the object in your hand. Now you may as well try, because if you survive the transformation, you will at least be taken away to a cell. If you're lucky and the worker blinks his eyes several times, he will lead you to a high point on the building. There will be an exit sign. Even though the building is too high and you will fall off the edge if you haven't opened the portal with the tuning fork, specifically from downstairs. Along the hall, you will notice the largest number of exit signs you have ever seen in your life. Taking one of these will only result in one of many horrible, painful and drawn out deaths. After what will seem like an eternity of walking, the worker will say, May they have mercy on your pitiful soul, and point you towards a door that has no markings. The fierce, large chimera inside the room is far too powerful for anything other than the combined force of the tuning fork and the delete key to subdue. An object such as the White King's sword might help, but I leave that up to the seeker. It is far too enraged to even answer a question that this writer knows of. Stun the Chimera with the tuning fork, followed by a blast from the delete key. I must not elaborate on what happens to you if you do not do these things in that particular order. If you do it correctly, the realization that you just witnessed such a brutal, powerful creature falling into such a simple process will cause you to black out. After the chimera vanishes, let everything go black. If you are deemed strong enough of will to be allowed to wake up, you will be lying on your back, in your dwelling. Wearing object 347 or 538, the sealer's sash. Destroy them all, and they will be united in a destroyed state. They are not going to stay that way 